person sees all. Eighteen twelve, February seventh, at seven o nine, UTC time, New Madrid, Missouri, a magnitude seven point four to eight. This is the fourth earthquake of the eight eleven to eight twelve series of several destructive shocks uh, occurred on February seventh. Listen, the last of which equaled or surpassed the magnitude of any previous event on Earth at that time. The town of New Madrid was completely destroyed. On the basis of the large area of damage, 600,000 square kilometers, the widespread area of perceptibility, 5 million square kilometers, and the complex physiographic changes that actually occurred, the Mississippi River Valley earthquakes of 1811 to 1812 rank as some of the largest in the United States since the settlement by Europeans. The first and second earthquakes occurred in Arkansas, December 16, 1811. Two shocks, MFA 7.2, MSN 8.5, MFA 7.0, and the third and fourth in Missouri, January 23, 1812, 7.1, 8.4, and February 7, 1812, 7.4, 8.8. However, has postulated another strong earthquake in Arkansas on December 16, at 18 UTC 8.0. This would make a total of five earthquakes of magnitude 8 or higher occurring in the period December 16th, 1811 through to February 7th, 1812. The onset of the earthquake, the ground rose and fell, bending trees until their branches intertwined and opening deep cracks in the ground. Landslides swept down the steeper bluffs and hillsides. Large areas of land were uplifted and still larger areas sank and were covered completely entirely by water. Quite an apocalyptic event. The water emerged through fissures and cradlets. Huge waves on the Mississippi River overwhelmed many boats and washed others high onto the shore. High banks caved in and collapsed into the river. Sandbars and points of islands gave way. Whole islands disappeared, by the way, many of them. Surface rupturing did not occur, however. The region most seriously affected was characterized by raised or sunken lands, fissures, sinks, sand blows, and large landslides that covered an area of 78,000 to 130,000 square kilometers, extending from Cairo, Illinois to Memphis, Tennessee, from Crowley's Ridge to Chickasaw Bluffs, Tennessee. Although the motion during the first shock was violent at New Madrid, Missouri, it was not as heavy and destructive as that caused by two aftershocks about six hours later. After the February 7th earthquake, Boatman reported that the Mississippi River actually ran backwards for several hours. The force of the land upheaval 15 miles south of New Madrid created real Foot Lake, drowned the inhabitants of an Indian village entirely, turned the river against itself to flow backwards, devastated thousands of acres of virgin forest, created two temporary waterfalls in the Mississippi. Boatmen on flatboats actually survived this experience and lived to tell the tale. As the general area experienced more than 2,000 earthquakes in five months, people discovered the most of crevices opening up during an earthquake ran from north to south, and when the earth began moving, they would chop down trees in an east-west direction and hold on using the tree as a bridge. There were missing people who were most likely swallowed up by the earth. Wow. Some earthquake fissures were as long as five miles. Seismic tar balls, small pellets, up to golf ball sized tar balls were found in sand boils and fissures. They are petroleum that has been solidified instantly or petroliferous nodules as they say. Earthquake lights, lights flashed from the ground caused by quartz crystals being squeezed inside of the ground. The phenomenon is called seismoluminescence. Warm water occurred. Water thrown up by an earthquake was lukewarm, like most of the people on this earth. It is speculated that the shaking caused the water to heat up and or the quartz's light heated up the water. An earthquake smog. The skies turned dark during the earthquakes. So dark, 
that lighted lamps didn't help, the air smelled bad, and it was hard to breathe. It is speculated that it was smog containing dust particles caused by the eruption of warm water into cold air after the lit crystals quartz. Uh, I, don't, I mean, this is nuts. Loud thunder, sounds of distant thunder, and loud explosions accompanied the earthquakes. Animal warnings, of course, people r reported strange behavior by animals before the earthquakes. So all these things occurring and a long list that continues on down here, just giving you a heads up that we must be aware that these things did occur. They should have told us more about it. And the event coming is an event similar, if not exactly uh, the same lines of what happened back in 1811 to 1812 in New Madrid event. So today, the eclipse. Let's see what happens.